Welcome to Mike Ferry TV. It's the week of January 18th, and we're in the third of our series for two months of interviewing great agents from all over North America. Today we have with us from Malibu, California. For those that are not familiar, that is the high end of the high end of the high end of Los Angeles, California. Mr. Rob Radcliffe, and he goes under Rob, but his real name is Robert, but I always call him Rob, so it's Robert Rob Radcliffe. Nice to have you here today. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. So, first of all, um, your average sales price is very high compared to most people and will probably stun some of our viewers when we talk about your average sales price. So let's start with how many transactions closed and pending in 2009? 21. 21. Now, you know when you say 21, some of these viewers will say, I thought you said he's a superstar. Right. <laughs> okay. Rightfully so. Right. Well, I understand. Ways. Average sales price? 2.2 two and change. $2.2 million average sales price. So mm -hmm. 21 transactions at that sales price is pretty astounding in, in any aspect, no matter how you look at it. Um, what are you gross for revenues to yourself on that? Nine fifty this year. Nine hundred fifty thousand dollars. So that's that's that really does qualify as being one of the best agents in North America. Congratulations. Thank you. How long in the business? Just shy of nineteen years. Nineteen years. Now you have, which we have to bring up, a very unique background because uh, we've been involved in that. We've talked about it. You've written a great book about it. Thank you. Okay, and it's something that hopefully all of you will buy once we mention it in a minute. So give them a little background prior to real estate. What were your what was your your, what was your best work habit? I wasn't sure we would talk about this. Um, my I, best, like to, I like to surprise you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you did. Um, my best work habit was doing drugs. Your best work? And how long a were you? A lot of them. How long were you involved in that whole drug scene? <sighs> Not that long, but, you know, I got it all out of the way quickly from about uh, 15 to young 20s where it, you know, got me at, at, at a point, a couple different points of my life living on the streets hotel to hotel, couch to couch, garage to garage, uh, walking aimlessly, and again, doing a lot of drugs daily. So when you say a lot of drugs, I've never done drugs, what does that mean? What was um, your drug of choice? What you got. Okay, what you got. Okay. <laughs> so anything that was available, huh? From smoking crack, shooting heroin, pot was, that was recreational, child's play. Yeah, okay. you know, I didn't, uh, I didn't go at it easy, I hit it hard. Okay. And when you, when you look backwards, what was the cause of all that? That's a great question. Because I, I would bet, I would bet. That's an excellent that question. Rob, twenty to twenty percent of our viewers probably have done this and or are involved in unfortunately this same habit today. So anything you say can be of help. Well, you know, and for me, I, in some ways, hit, as I was referencing, hitting it hard, uh, I think could be or was a blessing. Because my brother made, and my brother's also sober, as I've been sober over 18 years now. Um, he said, Rob, the difference between you and I is you jumped off the cliff and I rappelled down. Okay. And it took him a lot longer to get to that point of, I need to get help and get sober. Okay, which, so you and your you brother did. were partners in this great... Partners, yes. Good for you. Yeah, and I think, to answer your question... Um, you know, I, I, there's things I could look at, you know, abuse of father, um, uh, dis, everyone has a dysfunctional sure. family. Yep. Um, you know, I had, uh, not going into details, but inappropriate things took place with a babysitter. You know, sure. things that I can go, oh, no, that's why I use drugs to, you yeah. know. But I think it really was that I had an addictive personality, yes. you know. And after a while, for me, the drugs stopped becoming recreational, and it became from wanting to do it occasionally to needing to do it. And at some point, I had crossed some line. There was an imaginative, there was a invisible line. I crossed it, and it was, for a long time, impossible to get it under control and how to did, stop. How did you support this? Because well, now you can sell real estate and make a lot of money. Yeah, you could support a drug habit today. How do you support a drug habit when you're a drug addict? Uh, God, I'm so embarrassed to say I dealt drugs. Okay. Well, I think everybody that probably does them probably has to do that, don't you? Yeah. But here's the good news. Uh, 18 months ago, you wrote a wonderful book. Thank you very okay? much. And, and I've recommended to all of our clients, and I'm going to ask you to give them a website and so forth on how they can buy it. Um, tell us about your book. Well, the book's title is 180 Degrees, because fortunately, and I count my lucky stars and thank God daily, mm -hmm. my life did just that. Mm -hmm. You know, I was from many times of, what's the point? I might as well kill myself. What's the point? You know, I'm, I'm such a loser, mm -hmm. and uh, what's the point? I can't stop doing drugs. Mm -hmm. 
um, to the point today. I mean, I, I live a life today that seriously sometimes, I've got this beautiful trail by my home that I run. Mm -hmm. And there are so many times I get to this one place of the trail at the very end and I'll take off my headphones and I'll sit on a rock and I'll listen to the wind through the, the leaves and the trees and I'll hear a bird and, and I'll start laughing and crying mm -hmm. at the same time mm -hmm. of just how beautiful my life is today. Mm -hmm. you know. And it's done the exact, as the title, 180 degrees from complete desperation, despair, hopelessness to a, a life that is beyond my wildest dreams. And, 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 you know, to go back to you, Mike, I mean, truly, I, I was sharing with some friends I was coming to do the interview, and, and I said, you know, I am honored to do it, to come up here to be with you, um, and I'm doing it as a way to say thank you to you, because not only, and I know this is a plug for you, and it's not intended, it's you have, are such a mentor to me, and not just in my business life, and we haven't spent that much time together, but some time sure. together. But you have truly helped formed me as a man that I am today. Through the you. lessons, through the MFO system, mm -hmm. being a, one of those guys that first started a kid, young man in the audience, mm -hmm. to now, you know, I'm an adult and a, a man and a husband, father, employer, and mm -hmm. I'm still in the audience. And it's truly molded me into the man that I am today. Good for you. So Thank you. The book is the story of... My life. And yeah. getting involved in that drugs, going through that process, getting out of it, that whole process of getting yourself healthy again, and your business today. Um, the details. The, I, I mean, if you want to know my life, <laughs> read and, the book. And I, and I tell you, You'll know more about me than maybe you wanted to know. Well, I will tell anybody, <laughs> and, and Rob knows this, anybody that has an interest in learning how to grow as a human being should read that book. Thank so you very much. how do they get the book if they want to buy oh, it? Oh, uh, it's either on Amazon, okay. uh, title 180 Degrees, mm -hmm. or the180book.com, T-H-E-1-8-0, book.com. We've, right. we've got several thousand now of our clients reading it on a regular basis and recommending it. So. And they, I get emails. I've had emails all over North America. I've had phone calls from mothers, fathers that have thanked me. Their, their kid is attempting to get sober again, turning their life around. Uh, I got an email from someone in New Zealand who had a copy of the book sitting on a, on a coffee table, picked mm -hmm. it up, and it's, that book has reconnected her with her sister.